From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. Your $1,400 third stimulus check underwent wave number three today. And that wave landed like a brick with hundreds, if not thousands of viewers getting direct deposit of their $1,400 third stimulus check by wave three today. More will get it in the mail later this week. We had wave one on March 17th. We had wave two on March 24th. Today was wave 30, 31st, wave number three. Meantime, wave four is next week, followed by wave five. Who's in each group? And I'll explain all the details. Elsewhere, the path continues. Friday is when checks go out. Saturday is when the tool updates itself. Wednesday is when deposits occur, and Friday is when mail receipts occur across the board. Elsewhere, new video from the White House, and Jag Yellen continues to push third stimulus. But today, fourth stimulus was debuted. And I'll go over all the details of what is in Las Vegas. Vegas. Stimulus. For the health how is soon, here, how tour. quickly, and how robust to talk will about, it be. As the housing market continues to struggle, and the NASDAQ surges in strong trading today, there's incredible great news as Michael Jordan announces a new grant program for millions of Americans. Elsewhere, I'll analyze what Chuck Schumer will be doing for the president in the fourth stimulus package and what could be happening on the future horizon with fifth stimulus in the weeks to come. It's a great night as we go into a big evening across the board. Stimulus checks are landing and it's important you know where they are. They're not necessarily in direct deposit. They're not necessarily in direct express cards. They're also in the mail. And I'll show you when and how to track them. It's a big night and get ready to rock and roll as Evenings LA starts right now. It's a big evening as we go into, into evenings at a light. Across the board, millions of Americans got more checks today, and I'll be analyzing who they are and where they're landing. Meantime, I'll have the latest details for you across the board about other stimulus and when you could see that as well. Third wave of stimulus have crashed in, and I have the latest details tonight direct from Los Angeles. We started with wave one, but away we go to wave three today. How are you? It's a great evening, and thank you for joining me on Evenings Allied. How are you? You know, it's it's been a wavy run. <laughs> You know, you may want to tip the cows over, but this time you may want to wave the cows over. Okay, hey, cows, wave over here. Come on over here. We need some stimulus. Wave them over because waving is all the rave when it comes to stimulus checks. Waving. Whether you're waving this way or waving like this, there's stimulus checks coming your way, and I have all the wavy details about what's happening. If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. It's birthday week on this channel, and I don't want you to miss a single video across the board, so make sure you give a birthday subscription to this channel. I'll be back with you at Hazard Pay about 90 minutes from now, and boy, I'll, uh, we'll have a lot of fun in that live chat. Guess what? I'm in the live chat right now, so say hey, hi. Hi, how are you? <laughs> give me a wave. Give me a wave. I don't know if there's an emoji for the wave, but maybe we need one if I haven't made one yet. Also, like this video. Let's try to do two, 3,000 likes, and if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. Wow. Uh, you know, I, I love a wavy... Uh, um, chip, <laughs> potato chip, but these waves may be getting some people a little bit uh, seasick. <laughs> so you may need some drama made before we kick it off right now with some stimulus. Let me go over all the details happening right now. Wave number one was March 17th. Wave number one landed on a Wednesday. All waves land on Wednesdays. The direct deposits land on Wednesdays. 
Before we get to each of the waves, let me go over how Treasury sends out stimulus checks and how they are sending out this $1,400 third stimulus check, especially if on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, and Veterans Benefits, and Direct Express Card. Every wave works this way. They're sent out on Friday. The funds are pushed out in one drop in each wave on a Friday from Treasury. Then on Saturday, the tool, the irs.gov tool, is updated. That IRS tool is updated every Saturday to reflect what happened the night before, on Friday night. It is updated to show that checks are coming by direct deposit the following Wednesday or coming in the mail the following Friday. So that is why, over the last couple of weeks, I've been exclusively reporting these big updates from the tool on Saturday. This Friday, another wave will go out from Treasury. This Saturday, the tool will be updated again. And this following Wednesday, another direct deposit wave will occur. And then that Friday, next Friday, the, that wave's mail checks occur. What's important to understand in this delineation is the following, that the tool goes from no information to information on Saturdays for millions of viewers. In rare occurrences, it updates the date when it had a check already out and they had to fix it. But most of the time, it goes from no information to information on Saturday. Number two, it's important to understand that every wave has checks by direct deposit and also by mail. No wave is only direct deposit. You're going to see the importance of that when we get to wave four for next week. Wave four for next week is not only by direct express card. Wave four is not only by direct deposit. All right, let's start where this all began. It began on wave one on March 17th, which was St. Patrick's Day, a Wednesday. And that wave one landed on that Wednesday. It was sent out the Friday before, updated on the tool that Saturday, and then landed that Wednesday by direct deposit. Hundreds of thousands of viewers this channel got a stimulus checks before or on that day. Here's what's important to know is that in the case of every single wave, the effective checks, the effective date of the check is that day, March 17th, for example. So if you are at a big bank, they only release the funds on the wave dates. They don't release them ahead of time. The smaller banks do. Today, hundreds of viewers got more checks by direct deposit from big banks. But guess what? Smaller banks release this wave's checks ahead of time. More about that coming up in a second. Wave one was March 17th, and then we went to wave two last Wednesday, March 24th. Wave two landed last Wednesday, March 24th. By this point, what had we had? Let me go over what we had so far. On wave one, these were the banks that had paid. Citizens Bank, PNG, Bank Corp, Bank Chime, PayPal, NetSpend, Green Dot, People's United Bank. Also U.S. Bank, PNC, Capital One Bank, Lake Michigan Credit Union, USAA. Also, Union Bank, Metabank, Amex Bluebird, Navy, Fe Navy Federal, BP&T, Wood Forest, Bank America, Wells Fargo Chase, Green Emerald Card, and also TurboTax. For Wave 1 and Wave 2, this is what's important to know. For Wave 1 and Wave 2, the big banks only release the funds on the wave dates. The smaller banks release the funds ahead of time. So we had... Green Emerald Card by H&R Block, Chime, Cash App, TurboTax, Bank Corp, and also Metabank and NetSpend release funds ahead of time. Treasury confirmed this is what they often do. And then on the, 30, on the 24th, finally, for the first time ever, Direct Express started posting a pounds, a deposits. On March 24th, these were the banks that deposited a pounce on that day. Chase, Direct Express, Green, Car Green, uh, Green Dot, Citizens Bank America, H&R Block, Regions Bank, TD, TD Bank, PNC Wells, Arves, and SOS, uh, U.S. Bank posted funds on Wave 2, March 24th. Today was Wave 3, March 31st. An advance of today... These were the banks that paid viewers ahead of time. NetSpend and Metabank paid over a half a dozen viewers this channel ahead of time because that's what they do. They do release the funds before the effective date today. Today, on March 31st, 
These were the banks that paid viewers by direct deposit and more. I'm still going through uh, my Insta, uh, my social media uh, de private messages, but these are the ones that I've seen so far. Bank America, U.S. Bank, Direct Express Card, and several credit unions. So, and also Wells Fargo and Chase. Here's what you need to know is that a couple hundred, a lot more than I thought, viewers got direct deposits today in wave three. This includes SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Direct Express, Card, and also non beneficiaries, uh, tax filers, non tax filers, non filers, and filers. Okay. So later this week, will be wave three's mail delivery. Also still coming is wave two's mail delivery. Now understand wave two's mail delivery was due last week. It was March 26th. Wave three's mail delivery is due this week, the second, third, fourth, and fifth. What is important to know is that the checks are late. The checks are late about three to four days, but they are coming. What's also important to know is the following that the check's effective date is not the same as the effective date for direct deposit. Let me explain. If you go to the irs.gov tool and you show direct deposit March 31st, it means you're getting a direct deposit March 31st. But if you go to the irs.gov tool and it shows a mail check of April, 30, of April 3rd, it does not mean you're getting it April 3rd or that sent out April 3rd. It means that the effective check date is April 3rd. It could come late or it could come early. So then what's happening next week? Next week is wave four. This is April 7th. And then after that is wave five, April, 15, April 14th. Let me explain what's going on with April 7th and April 5th. What's important to understand is that there's been a series of comments out from Treasury, and some viewers have not heard all the comments and have only heard some of the comments. Let me explain what the totality of the comments are for April 7th. For April 7th, the totality of the comments are that they are attempting to push out this Friday again another wave of stimulus checks, wave four. They're hoping to get it done. I believe they'll get it done. I don't think that's a dispute that they're going to get it done. Wave four would go out and land next Wednesday again. Now, they're attempting April 7th. They say we hope to do April 7th. Understand that every wave by direct deposit lands on Wednesdays, if not earlier. So could you get wave four by direct deposit earlier than April 7th? Yes. If you are, again, Chime Cash App, Green Emerald Card, TurboTax, those generally pay, and NetSpend, they usually pay ahead of time. Big banks and Direct Express, April 7th. What may pay a little bit later? Sometimes banks may pay it on the 8th. Now, here is what you absolutely categorically need to hear, is that in the totality of the comments for Way 4, Treasury made clear and even make clear to several viewers today who they actually got IRS officials on the phone that next week is not a direct deposit only week. It is like all other prior weeks where some are in the mail and some are in direct deposit. So understand that this Friday they're sending out wave four for next week. Saturday, IRS confirms that this Saturday the tool will update itself so you'll see what will be in wave four. And then next Wednesday, some will get in direct deposit and some will get it in the mail. Let me make that even clearer. The people going to the mail are people who would have normally got it by direct deposit. People on direct express card may get it in the mail. People who get their benefits every month to a big bank or a small bank may get it in the mail. It has happened for the first, the second, and the third waves. And it's going to happen again for the fourth and fifth, IRS confirms. So under no circumstances should a viewer only presume that their money for wave four is only coming to direct deposit. It may also land in the mail, Treasury confirms. So what's important to understand is while you look for that money to land this coming week, if you did not get it today, or the end of this week, you need to check all three 
versions of where that money could be landing. It could be landing in the direct deposit and me also landing in the mail. So let me explain that March 26 check that's missing for some viewers, that April 2nd, 3rd, 4th check that is still pending in the mail for other viewers. A lot of viewers have wave two checks mail that have yet to be received and they're waiting on wave three mail checks to be received as well. If you're a viewer who has no results, you wanna to listen to this because under wave four, you may be a mail check recipient as well. Also, for wave five, who will that be? I'll have all those details for you. What's again important to understand is that wave four and wave five are up next, and they will include both mailed checks and direct deposit. Even if you're on the Direct Express card, Treasury has made emphatically clear it may also come in the mail. You don't want to miss that mail check because if you toss it or miss it, it is nearly impossible to replace it. And it's very hard to replace it in a timely fashion. I'll be going over all that great news and more in just a second, but stay with me as Evening's Ally continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now on Even Evenings at Light as we continue into a big night as Hazard Pay comes up in about 90 minutes from now. I hope you join me on that one. But boy, we have a lot of exciting details tonight. And thank you for joining me on a big night of Evenings at Light. Wherever you are across the land, I'm so excited for you because it is a big night with big news across the board. And with that, thank you so much for joining me. Let's continue in our wavy broadcast across the board. If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. I don't want you to miss a single recording across the board. There's breaking, developing news every minute, and that's why you want to stay with me. This is a live news channel. This show is taped, but the other shows throughout the day are live, and you don't want to miss any of them. Also, give a birthday subscription. It's a birthday week on this channel. I'm in the live chat, so say hi. Hey, how are you? Also, like this video. Let's try to do two, 3,000 likes. And if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member. Today was wave three, and hundreds and hundreds of viewers of this channel got direct deposit. They got direct deposit to the Direct Express card. They got direct deposit to Bank America, U.S. Bank. They got direct deposit, whether on SSI and SSDI, Social Security and Railroad Benefits. They also got direct deposit to the Direct Express card and their big banks, small banks, and credit unions. But guess what? Also today, people got mail checks landing in the mail. Which mail checks were these? These were Wave 2 mail checks that are late, and some are still starting to get Wave 3 checks early. So let me explain what's going on. Remember, those Wave 2 checks are a big number of the viewers of this channel. I would say it's almost 50 to 60% of the viewers of this channel. These Wave 2 mailed March 26 effective date checks include people on the Direct Express card, include people on SSI and SSDI, and they are late. Now, the date in the corner of the check is March 26th. That's not the date they represent you're going to get it, 
but it's supposed to land by the date the check was issued for. So it's generally supposed to land the 24th, 25th, or 26th. So if it's not there by the 26th, it's presumed late for our purposes. The great news is we know it's late and it's still coming. It's not that it's lost or hasn't been sent. Viewers got a couple hundred on the Monday and then the Tuesday, and it continues to roll out every day. What you need to know is that if you have a March 26th mail check date, it's late. That's for wave two. If you have an April 2nd, 3rd, 4th, or 5th wave two check, it may also be late as two as well. This is wave three's checks, which are April 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th, and maybe also be the 6th. These are, um, these, these may be late. We don't know yet. You want to count down two days ahead of its effective date. So let's say you have a, a, an April 3rd check. It would normally land April 1st. We're not at April 1st yet, so we don't know if they're coming early, if they're coming on time, or they're coming late. So we're getting wave two checks late, and we're waiting to see if May third, if wave three checks are coming early or coming late. The significance of this is paramount, and I'll explain to you why. Wave four has gotten a false narrative that it is only a direct deposit wave. It is not, Treasury has clarified. Wave four is just like wave one, wave two, and wave three. It is both mail and it is also both direct deposit. Direct deposits land on Wednesdays, mails, la mails land later the week, Thursday and Friday. So for wave four, you may get it by direct deposit and you may also get in the mail. Let me make it even clearer than that. If you are on the Direct Express card, do not say that it's only going to the Direct Express card in your mindset. It is absolutely, categorically, 100% untrue. Direct Express card holders, hundreds of thousands of this, have pending mail checks from Way 3 for March 26th. More have pending direct have pending mail checks for wave four for for the March 31st wave for wave three. So I have direct express card holders who got wave checks in got checks by mail or are waiting for checks by mail from wave two and waiting for checks by mail for wave three. For wave four, it will include both the mail and also the direct deposit. The significance of this is very obvious. Why am I so worried and so strongly in my message about the mail checks? Because if you don't look at the mail and you throw it away, you will not be able to get it replaced easily. It's such an obvious thing to say. You get a check in the mail and you don't look at the mail and then you only look at the direct deposit, direct express card because you don't want to listen to the message that it might be in the mail. And then it doesn't land on the Direct Express card on April 7th, and you say, what went wrong? They don't treat us right. No, it was in the mail. You didn't look at the mail. And then days and weeks go on, and you realize you threw it away. Then you have months to get that missing check that you mailed that threw away, when you could have just simply looked at the mail carefully and not taken that risk. Don't be risky. Be cautious. I want you to ensure you get that money. We are a family, and we try to help each other. And ultimately, along the way, one of the most important things to do is never to throw away money. <laughs> Literally, don't throw away money. Uh, meantime, someone wants to give you money. <laughs> and who is it? It's not this guy, but it's someone else. And it's not this guy, uh, but it's someone else. And I don't have an image for it, so I'm just going to use a Jerome Powell. No, I'll use a sailing boat. <laughs> a sailing boat. Who wants to give you some more money? It's Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan has now announced today a $100 million grant program. Through his Jordan brand company, he will be offering social organizations funds up to from $1 million for grants for people who combat issues in African-American communities. The applications have are now open and will be open to April 30th. So this is a very short time frame. Uh, and this is for U.S.-based 501c3 corporations. Nonprofit Rockefeller Philanthropist Advisors is coordinating the program, and it'll be $100 million. The president of his organization said, since announcing our commitment uh, to the black community in June of 2020, we've been focused on two things, action and impact. So this is huge. Again, it's $100 million, 
and it's for 501c3 nonprofits. Meantime, also making news today, of course, was this guy, your president, who announced your, your four stimulus package. What does it include? It includes $621 billion for transportation infrastructure as bridges, roads, public transportation, ports, airports, and electric vehicle development. $400 billion to care for elderly and disabled Americans. Meantime, it provides additional money, nearly $300 billion for improving drinking water infrastructure, broadband access, and imp imp upgrading electrical grids. $300 billion for building and retrofitting affordable housing, constructing and upgrading schools, and $580 million in American manufacturing research and drought training. Uh, how will this go and how will it move? Well, the bill will not get signed into law anytime soon. The bill will get a pushback from Democrats left and right who already have started the pushback. What their pushback is the following. If it doesn't have reoccurring stimulus checks in there, we're going to put it in there. <laughs> Guess what? It doesn't have reoccurring stimulus checks in there, so they're going to put it in there. Who are they? They're Senate Democrats. How are they going to do it when the bill lands in the Senate? They said, hey, you know, there's 50 of us. You need all 50 of us. Well, 23 of us say no. We're not supporting it unless, and I got to tell you, when I talk about the reoccurring stimulus checks, those 20 or 21 Democrats, they're very aligned for a lot of subject matters. So this is just one of their starting points. They have other starting points that they have been talking about as well. So they're very, very, very tightly wound and very uh, aligned to their principles. Their principle to start is that reoccurring stimulus check to the end of this year. That would be an enormous amount of money. We don't have the dollar figure. It would likely be $1,400 or $2,000, insiders now say. So that could be twelve, fourteen, sixteen thousand dollars more than FPC retro, more than hazard pay. There is a push for hazard pay in there. There's a push for FPC retro in there. There's a push for SSI and SSDI, twenty four hundred dollars always. But understand, of those three things, the biggest number is that reoccurring stimulus checks. Um, and what's going to happen is that Chuck Schumer and Leader Schumer will be pushing for the narrative that he has not one but two more reconciliations to go with. He will. He insiders now say that he has presented to the parliamentarian his hardest pitch for that one reconciliation. There is one that he absolutely does have, an extra one, and then there's a possible argument for a second. He apparently has put through the parliamentarian the argument for the second one because it's the hardest one. I don't think he's going to get the second one. I think he's going to get the first one. But the, will the president use this reconciliation process for this or will he use it for fist stimulus? Well, insiders also say today the president's going to try to get bilateral support, uh, bipartisan support for this bill before he does recon. How long he's going to spend on that, we don't know. But the proposal includes increasing the corporate tax rate from 21 to 28 percent, an idea that no Republican wants and many Democrats don't want as well. And with that, let me cut back to the big exciting news as we go into the final hours of tonight. If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe and say hi, because I'm in the live chat with you. Uh, what's important to understand is that we've had a lot of waves, and one of the viewers of this channel had a wonderful comment. She said that she had a friend of hers, and I heard this from not one, but several viewers. They had friends that worked at, at Treasury, and they said they're going to continue to have waves until these stimulus checks land. And what's important to understand is that I'm not going anywhere. I'm here. I'm dedicated to ensure that you get your stimulus check. And what you need to do is that every Wednesday, understand that's the big direct deposit date for Direct Express and big banks. The end of the week is the day in which most mail checks would normally land if they're not late. If sometimes if they're early, they come ahead of time. And Saturday is the tool date update. So that is how these waves are occurring. What you need to know as you go into this evening is that if you did not get a direct deposit today, did not get a direct express card deposit, did not get a big bank deposit today, March 31st, watch the mail because you may actually be a mail check recipient from wave two that is delayed. Yes, wave two. You may also be a mail check recipient from wave three and that mail check may be coming this week, later this week. Yes. This is very important because a lot of people just presume that they are in wave four if nothing happened today. Not true. That The reason why that may not be true is the IRS tool may just not be working. You may actually be a mail recipient from wave two or wave three, and it may just land this week. 
in advance of wave four. Now understand, when would wave four direct deposits drop? They would drop for Direct Express card on Wednesday, and then for Metabank and those smaller banks a day or two ahead of time. The mail checks for Wave 4 would land later in the week. Do I have anyone that has Wave 4 mail check results yet? No, I don't. I would start to see those formulate this Saturday. Because remember, the Wave 4 is sent out this Friday, and then we will see the tool update on Saturday. Again, these are all official statements from Treasury. It's important to understand that Treasury ins ensures that you get these stimulus checks out. Meantime, let's listen to a new video uh, that was released yesterday for Jad Yellen talking about the importance of July just around the corner for that $5,000 or $4,400 of stimulus coming as well for people of I want to talk to you about the American Rescue Plan and how it will help families and kids. Pre-COVID, about one in seven children were living below the poverty line. But the pandemic spiked that number to more than one in five. The American Rescue Plan will address these crises and is projected to cut the child poverty rate in half through a big expansion of the child tax credit. If you make less than $75,000 or loan or $150,000 as a couple, you'll receive a tax credit of $3,600 for each child under the age of six and $3,000 for each child child age 6 to 17. The law helps the families of 66 million children. It's a big bill with a lot in it. Enough relief to see us through to the other side of the pandemic. And together we are going to see ourselves through to the end of the other side of the pandemic. As a family, we stay committed one to another to ensure that you get this third stimulus check. I've been dedicated across the board, as you've seen over the last week or two weeks, to ensure that you get this $1,400 stimulus check. Every information that you get as a viewer helps another viewer. So if you got a direct deposit today, send me a DM. If you got a mail check today, send me a DM. Or if you have any tool update that shows something coming, send me a DM. Every information that you share helps another viewer. Remember, this is a channel built upon helping one another. You helping others and me helping everyone else. So whenever you can help with information, you have it is greatly appreciated along the way we're going to head right into the other big money of third stimulus five ten fifteen thousand dollars rent utilities food internet seventeen hundred dollars of financial aid those things are happening in just a few days also eidl eidl grant eidl loan and the shuttered venue grant we're just a few days away from that it's absolutely perfect timing so hopefully everyone gets their stimulus check in the next few days and we go right into getting that other money. Remember, once you get that stimulus check, don't stop because there's a lot of other money, a lot more of other money for you available in this third stimulus package, even if you don't work, even if you're on SSI and SSDI, five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars and I'm dedicated to getting you that money. So stay with me, make sure you subscribe. I want you to get all this money and more in advance of going into force stimulus. Also like this video. Stay informed, stay focused, and I will see you on Hazard Pay coming up right after this in 90 minutes. And stay with Ally.